Yo, I'm Carla. I'm Narika. And this is The Binge. World Cup edition. We're in the, the commentators are saying we're in the business end. Oh, we, we're in the end game now. We're in the end game. Yeah. Well, we were in the business end. Yeah, we are Alex, in the Alex. business end of the competition. How are you doing, fam? Easy. Same What's been happening? Time. World Cup semifinals. In December. Quarterfinals. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. No, but I'm just excited. You know, yeah. about all the football and everything. But yeah, we are in December. Summer, summer, summertime. Some, that song reminds me of December. Like proper December vibes. Yeah. Like, there should be a bride. People chilling by the pool. Everybody got their floral shirts. Sun's and it's out, you yeah. know. You know it's December when you're wearing a shirt, but it's not buttoned up. But Just. then when the time hits the time mm. on a specific day, the TV needs to be on. Yeah. Do you know what's also wild? Like, there's other sports going on. Yeah. It was the Cape Town Sevens. So there's a Sevens rugby tournament ah. in South Africa. And it looked empty. Not the World Cup. Exactly. I was like, I just assumed everyone was watching the World Cup. Not the World Cup, yeah. I also saw a tweet quite a few times. Someone said, the World Cup would be better if they allowed players to have confessionals. Yeah. <laughs> well, that would be insane. That would be insane. Imagine the drama. That's like, you're talking about reality TV. That's reality <laughs> TV right there. I'd watch that. <laughs> I think everyone would watch it. Yeah, I'd watch it. Like, imagine like a, like a World Cup love island. You know, but like, because they're all staying yeah, like in these camps yeah, anyway. Like, you, you know, like they bring a new what they call them a new a uh, new bombshell a new bombshell, but like it's a player that wasn't selected in the World Cup, like it's in the beach <laughs> kind of vibe. Like all of a sudden now, Haaland is pulling up from nowhere. You know what I his mean? Haaland can't pull up from nowhere. His country's not there. Yeah, but that's why he's the bombshell. Like he's just wild card. Boom! Like all of a sudden, Haaland is Portuguese. Uh no, yeah. no ways. I'm not ready crazy. for that. I like the world I think the World Cup as it is is mm. crazy enough that we don't need more of that. Ah, I like the bombshell idea. FIFA. Infantino. You heard no it way. first. <laughs> Let's just go straight into the World Cup. The quarterfinals happened this past week. They were actually crazy. Yeah. All four games it was were crazy. Insane. It was insane. All four games were crazy. There were upsets on day one. Yeah. Um there was a comeback in yeah. And day an one. almost upset. And yeah. an almost an yeah. upset in day one. Damn, I forgot about those games. I know, right? Crazy. A lot happened. A lot happened in the space of 48 mm-hmm. hours. We were hit with stage six. <laughs> Potentially stage eight. <laughs> there were yeah. so many things that happened to us as South Africans, as a people. Um, but then day two was the day I was looking the most forward to. Yeah. So how the draw happened was... The two quarterfinals on the same day meant that the winners played each other. Mm-hmm. So on day one, people were hoping for Argentina Brazil semi final. Yeah. Okay. Only one of those teams made it. And then day two, um, it was France and England, which was the big game. And all the commentators were were allowed. All those English commentators were like, okay, this was a world this should have been a World Cup final. The match that yeah. could have been a World Cup blah 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 blah. Whatever. Um, but the biggest game that we were looking forward to was Morocco. Versus Portugal. Do you know where that is? A rock. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Morocco versus Portugal. What? Like my emotions, like when I think about it, mm. still haven't leveled down. It's insane. I think uh, when they beat, uh, who they play in the round of 16? Spain. Spain. See, I even forgot about that. Who's Spain? <laughs> when we beat Spain, I was kind of emotional. I can't lie. Like, I just sat there and I thought about it. I was like, oh, shit. Like, this is, this is happening. And then they got to the quarterfinals and it's like, oh, my word. Like, this is real. Like, we're seeing the fourth African nation play in the quarterfinal at the World Cup. Right. I Let it be known. I, this is, I want to highlight this fact that right here on the bench, in our DMs, on the Twitter streets, I was saying that Morocco was going to beat mm. Portugal. And Spain. And Okay, so yeah, Morocco was going to beat Spain, and yeah. they did that. Yeah. And then the, the draw was up against Portugal. And I was very loud at the fact that Morocco was a team, good in, not even good enough, better than Spain. Yeah. We're not better than Portugal to yeah. beat Portugal. And no one believed me. I wouldn't have said better than. On paper, they were. Not on paper. Definitely not. Okay, but I, but was, I wasn't I was going off paper. Yeah. I was going off, okay, 
from day one when they f- played their first game, yeah. watching their performance, and then like by the time they got to the quarterfinal against Portugal, watching all of the Portuguese mm-hmm. games as well, everyone who doubted, they were riding off the, oh, but Portugal beat Switzerland. 6-1. 6-1. Was it 6-1? 6-1. Around 16 game. Oh, 6-1. 5-1, 6-1. Yeah, like something ridiculous. Like, Portugal beat Switzerland. They're going to beat Morocco. And I'm like, guys, they played Switzerland. No mm-hmm. offense. No offense to Switzerland. But... How many of those Swiss players do you actually know? Two, three, and, four. No, quite a few. But Swiss But Swiss you only know like, them once they like, once you see the lineup, you go like, oh, yeah. like you're Swiss. Yeah, but I mean, like Switzerland have always been a consistent team in the World Cup. It's just that. Yeah, but they're not like consistently great. They always like, they similar to... Belgium. Mm, better. Maybe better than Belgium. Belgium okay. have never been those guys. But yeah, they, 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 they always at the World Cup. They always do like mad results and then boom, back home. But, but yeah. And I also think that like there was a big bias that a lot of people anticipated the European teams to just do well, walk over all to the do, other Yeah, to do no, a yeah, 100%. Walk over. Yeah. So I kept on telling people, I'm like, Portugal are going to lose. Mm. Your CR7, your Bruno Fernandes, your Jao Felixes, your 37 year old Pepe, they're going to lose. 39 year old. 39 year old Pepe, correction. They were going to lose, and no one wanted to believe me. And I, it wasn't as easy as you made it seem, but I hear you. I feel like I knew it would be a hard game, and like we can go into the game now and speak about it. It was a difficult game, right? Yeah. It was Portugal attacking, Morocco having 11 men behind the ball at all times, and when they found the moment to attack, attack. Yeah. So it was like the attacking stats weighed in the favor of Portugal mm. for the entire game. Facts. Yeah. But at the end of the day, they didn't win. Yeah, Morocco that's won. That's all that matters. Morocco won one no. What do you think about the game? Insane. As I said, like even after winning their round of sixteen match, still hasn't sunk in India. Mm-hmm. And then now they went into the quarterfinal and like still hasn't sunk in India. That the, I think it's the performance of like a team. Like I don't think we've seen it the stronger the World Cup from especially an African team. You know, I mean, we spoke about how they didn't concede a goal from opposition play. You know, I mean, they haven't conceded a goal from an opposition team. They've only conceded one goal. And that was their own goal. goal. Yeah. yeah. So they haven't conceded a goal from our opposition team. So it's kind of mad when you put the whole thing in perspective. When you look at the group they were in, look at the teams they they versed. I mean, they played Spain, who won the opening game seven 0 they played Portugal, who thrashed Switzerland 6-1. And then you go up against both those teams in knockout games and not concede a single goal. With Madness. an African coach. Madness. With an African coach, with players who quite a few of them play in Africa now. You know, so it's kind of mad to look at this team and be like, this is the first African team to make it out of a quarterfinal. Scenes in Morocco are crazy. People mm. in the streets. Everywhere they were, where there's yeah. a community of Moroccan people, people are out in the streets. I just think, like, as a continent, people yeah. are out in the streets. Yeah, but I think it's mad when you look at, like, the performance, especially in this quarterfinal what against a Portuguese team where there was, like, a lot riding for them. They were, like, doubt, what, picked as finalists in this competition, you know, depending on what, like, the team that they had full of stars, Ruben Diaz, Fernandez, Silva, Ronaldo, you know? The list goes so. on. But the way they played, like, solid defense, Counter-attack and how they scored the goal at the end of the first half. Like, with it in the series, it was just like, boom, goal out of nowhere. It was the perfect goal, though. As it was the perfect time to score a goal. Yeah. I knew that for Morocco to win Portugal, to beat Portugal and mm. win this game, they needed to score a goal in a critical moment. Yeah. So, you score... And those critical moments in any football game is just before halftime, yeah. just as second half starts, or just before the game ends. Mm. They were very hypocritical about CR7 starting on the bench. They were. He did look at that goal, that hit a goal. Yeah. Um, and I see, when you look at it, right, he literally, was it Diaz? Yeah. Sent it back. He dunked on Diaz, posterized him. Diaz ate ass, basically. Sent- <laughs> That's actually Oof. what happened. Mm. He jumped yeah. so high, yeah. and then the camera almost immediately after that goal was on CR7's yeah. face, and he looked disappointed. Mm. Looked a little bit happy because he, he thought he probably should have been starting. Yeah. And then also, I guess, proud because 
he inspired a whole generation of players to work on hitters like that and Facts. soar into the sky and yeah. score. What a goal. What a way to end the first half. Um, went into the second half. It was literally just Portugal attacking. They made all the subs. They brought on Cristiano. And, yo, guys, it was tough second half because it was just literally all we needed was a Jose Mourinho masterclass. Mm. Parked Park the, bus. the bus. And that's what Morocco did. Yeah. They parked the bus. There was a chance, though, by Ch- Chidri. Ch- Chidira. Chidira. Chidiri. Chidira. Chidira. Yeah. Personally, not my favorite. Got sent off. Got sent off or won't be in the final. Kind of sad. Why? Because it's a red card. What do you mean? Why is it sad? It's sad because you don't wish that on any player. I don't care, like, how oh, shit people may think you will be, you know, in your career. He, he is essential to the he, teams he missed getting there. Three. Golden opportunities in matter. the game against Spain. Does not matter. He missed he missed in this quarterfinal Does against Portugal matter. to like close the game out and make it 2-0 towards the end of the second half. My guy missed his Does chance. Not matter. At the end of the day, you're in the team for a reason. I'm not saying that he's doesn't deserve to be in the team, but Morocco are doing well without him. And they did well with him also. So But he didn't score the goals when it was matter. needed. It doesn't matter. He needed to score those matter. goals I, when it was Erika needed. Erika is lacking empathy. Um, feeling for Shadira, no player would like to be out of a World Cup semi-final game and potentially a final game. So I feel for the guy. I don't. Because he really could have scored that second goal to take Morocco 2 no up. And then the last eight minutes could have been just eight minutes. Oh, oh, but it was the longest eight minutes of everyone's life. They won, so who cares? They did win. It was like the best thing. I'm I'm still so excited about yeah. it. Um, there's like a lot of, I guess like Morocco was doing it for like the African continent, yeah. but then also being an Arab nation. Yeah. There's a lot of narratives going on there yeah. in Morocco, hey? Yeah, I mean, they should be proud. It's kind of insane. I didn't think in my lifetime I'd see uh, Africans in get this far. I knew. You know, so every every candy. four years we always say it, but like when the World Cup actually comes around, African teams usually bomb out, you know, and like one is the hope. But like for them to go to a semi final, insane. I don't think it's sunken in for a lot of people. Samuel Eto, um, I think his prediction almost came true. Was. An African final. Cameroon versus Morocco. So, I mean, if he somehow predicts Morocco making it to the final, fam, there's, we need to know what Eto's on. That's kind of crazy. Mm. Like, Morocco gets to the final. Yeah. But in order for Morocco to get to the final, they play a semi final against the reigning champions. Reigning champions. Reigning champions, France. France, who seem like they are on it. Like, people, I think, looking at France, they didn't expect them to be this good. Going into the they finals. Missed a, they're missing a Pogba, they're missing a Kante. They're missing some key players, but Benzema. somehow it's just missing the best player in the world, Benzema. So somehow Giroud is being prime Giroud again. Mbappe is playing like the best player in the world. Griezmann is turning back their hands of time and all of a sudden learns how to play football again. They got Chuamini who's doing like his best Pogba impersonation you know it's kind of it's insane like watching also it's crazy because like there's uh, i think there's no what? for a country to go back to back at a world cup run yeah the last country i think the last country there was brazil like 56 and 60 and also the last reigning champions to make it to a semi-final was brazil in 2000 that's mad and six i think morocco has had the hardest run at this world cup. yeah it, to make I, it this far. If, yeah, I mean, to go Spain, Portugal, and now France. If they somehow beat those three teams. And in that like, game, and in that game against Portugal, like the last 20 minutes, before they added extra eight minutes, mm. guys were cramping. Yeah. Their legs were giving out on them. Yeah. That's how hard they're like, were playing yeah. to not concede that goal, even though it was just touch and go for mm. a long time. Do you think they're able to... Make it to the final. Withstand um, the French attack. Yeah, no, for sure. I do think they are able. I mean, Mbappe is going up against his teammates in Hakimi. You got quality players, as we said. Like, you think know, Hakimi is going to take him out? No, nah, he just, like, Hakimi is a world class player. Ziyech is a world class player. Like, you know, so these guys have played at the top level for a very long time. So they have what it takes. Do you think so? So, yeah. your prediction for the semi final? 
I think they can take France to penalties. You think and, we'll, and we'll see from there. Yeah. I also think this. I think I think it goes to penalties. Yeah, I think they have what it takes to take France to penalties. There's also like this this very big narrative because a lot of so one of the languages that they speak in Morocco is French. Yeah. And a lot of Moroccans um, immigrate to France. Yeah. And there's a very big Moroccan community in, in France. France. There's also a lot of French-born Moroccan people. Yeah. And like there's this narrative now between like France and Morocco mm. and they're meeting each other in the semi-final. I also think it would go to penalties. And I think Morocco will win on penalties because of their goalkeeper. Yeah, I think Bounou definitely goalkeeper of the tournament. Has to be. Insane. Has to be Insane. goalkeeper of the tournament. And potentially we could see a final of Croatia Morocco. Mm. And that mean Croatia going back to back in all cup finals and losing both. Yes. Mm. That is exactly what I need to happen. I I think Morocco could take Argentina as well, yeah. but um I think Croatia are just going to upset. Do an upset. Mm. People keep thinking Morocco getting this far is an upset, but it's not an upset for me. It's only an upset if you didn't expect it. It is an upset statistically. So, so it's only an upset if you didn't expect statistically it. Statistically it's an upset. Guys, it is, I can't believe like the World Cup is coming to an end mm. as well. Last week. Like we're we're in the end game. In the end game. Come through, drop a comment if you are African, if you are Moroccan, if you support an underdog team, mm. if you just want to see Morocco do great. How did you think the quarterfinal against Portugal went? What do you predict is going to happen in the semifinal against France? I'm already stressed. Like I can feel my heart rate my heart rate rising mm. with the thoughts of the semifinal. But I also cannot wait. Um, the semifinal is this week. Is it the Tuesday or Wednesday game? Wednesday. The Wednesday game, which is very soon. I think my palms are sweaty. Knees weak. No, weak. no. <laughs> also, do you know when Morocco um, kicked out Portugal? Yeah. Reminded me of the Burner Boy song. Gotta say bye bye, yo. Okay. Bye bye, yo. To the love of my life, my eye, oh, don't shy. <laughs> so please drop a comment. Let us know feelings, thoughts of their quarterfinal performance from Morocco, predictions for the semi final, and will Morocco make it all the way to a final at the World Cup, being the first African team? Well, they are going to be the first African team to make it to a semi final and potentially a first African team to get to the final. Mm -hmm. We did say from the beginning, the Qatar 2022 FIFA World Cup was built for an underdog nation. And that's all we're getting. Mm. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It's all love. Until next time, we are The Bench. This is the World Cup. Go Morocco.